In the previous tutorial, we talked about electrostatic force, Coulomb's law and the principle of superposition. And in this tutorial, we talk about electrostatic field. Electrical interactions between charged particles can be reformulated using the concept of electric field. To understand the concept of electric field, consider that we have two positively charged bodies, namely A and B. And we also know that these two positively charged bodies will repel each other with a force F. If we now remove this charge B from its position and label its position as point B, then this charged body A is set to produce an electric field at this point P. Now this charge A not only produces field at this point P but it also produces field at all other points in its vicinity. So if we place a charged body B either positive or negative. At this point P, a force is exerted on this body B by the field produced by body A and since electric field exists at all point in the region around A, this charged body B will experience a force at any point in the space around body A. Suppose we have to test the presence of electric field at a point say P in the region around this charged body A. Now to do this we simply place a small charged body at this point P and if this test charge experiences any force of electric origin then electric field E is said to exist at this point P. So we can now say that an electric field is said to exist at a point if an electric force is exerted on a test charge at that point. And now electric field like electric force is also a vector quantity. So the properties of electric field are determined when both magnitude and direction of an electric force are specified. Now if F is the force acting on test charge Q dash placed at a point in an electric field then electric field at that point would be equal to E is equals to F upon Q dash and since F is equals to Q dash E direction of electric field would be same as the direction of electric force. Now SI unit of electric field is Newton per Coulomb. So we now know about electric field but we do not know how to calculate this electric field. Now electric field at any point can be calculated using Coulomb's law if we know about both magnitude and position of all the charges contributing to the field. Now to find the magnitude of electric field at a point P at a distance r from the charge Q, imagine a charge Q dash placed at this point P. And from Coulomb's law, we have force F is equals to K Q Q dash upon R square, where we know that this proportionality constant K is equals to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught. And electric field at this point P is given by E is equals to F upon Q 
dash is equals to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q upon r square now direction of this electric field E is away from the charge Q if it is positive and it would be towards the charge Q if the charge is negative. Now electric field in terms of unit vector R cap directed along the line from charge Q to point P would be A is equals to K Q R cap upon R square. Where R is the distance from charge Q to point P and this equation holds for both positive and negative charges. Now if there are n number of charges present in a system say Q1, Q2 etc. which are at a distance R1, R2 etc. from a given point P then each one of the charges exert a force on test charge Q dash placed at this point P. Now from principle of superposition net force on the test charge Q dash would be F is equals to F1 plus F2 and so on where this F1 is force on test charge due to charge Q1 and so on. And the resultant electric field would also be the vector sum of the individual electric fields. So, resultant electric field E is equals to F upon Q dash is equals to E1 plus a2 and so on. This is also a direct result from the principle of superposition similar to what we have discussed while studying electric force on a single charge due to a system of multiple charges. And for more information visit physicscatalyst.com.